don't know if you saw it or not, but trust me, it does. So ho hopefully when you grab this handle, the whole bag kind of cinches up and grabs the wheel so you can drag it right out and you can pull it, you can drag it along. And if you're, you know, if you're on the third floor of a building, yeet that bitch out the window. <laughs> All right, what's going on guys? Today, I wanted to show you something a little special we've been working on. We're calling it the EUC Drag Bag. So now, I just wanna show you guys some footage real quick on the materials testing on this. This was a standard welding blanket. I've seen a lot of people on the forums and stuff suggesting getting fire blankets, welding blankets to put over their machines while they keep them in the house. So let's just show some footage real quick of what these blankets actually do when they're on fire. All right, so we put a couple uh, logs in the bag to simulate some weight inside the bag. Um, we're going to throw some flares in first and just see what happens to the bag, see what happens to the thread and stuff, see if it, see if it holds up to the flares. We'll try and just drag it around a little bit, make sure it does, does what it's supposed to do. All right, we're gonna start with just some uh, emergency road flares. Let's see what happens. Woo! All right. Take this and throw it in the bag, right? You got it. Wow. All right, so when I held it against the bag, it definitely burned. Yeah, it's, bur it's burning on the side there. Yeah, let's see what happens here if it's just... Yeah, throw it in a second one. You just double check this recording, right? All right, good. <laughs> oh, yeah, this might make a lot of smoke, huh? You should get a bucket uh, of water. We got, we got shit. Oh yeah, it's burning right through it. Yeah, okay, so it's going right through the bag. All right. So 100% not fireproof. Why don't you pick up the bag and start dra dragging it? We have a wheel on fire, folks. A wheel on fire. <laughs> All right. So the bag, the bag is definitely melting. You can smell it. So we don't have to start a big fire. We know it's not going to hold fire very well. But look how slow it's burning. Oh, it's definitely like this is. This has been a while now, right? I, I, I don't know how exactly. Oh shit! <laughs> Running around the tree. <laughs> <coughs> pull it, pull it! Come on, get it out of the house! Get it out of the house, man! That's cancer smell. That smells like cancer. <laughs> that looks cool. <laughs> It's burning through at the point where the fire directly is. True, but it's. I think it's going to hold its integrity pretty good. Like it, it hasn't been uh, falling apart. <clears throat> you know something? You're right. It hasn't been falling. Like the whole bag's not catching on fire. It's burning super slow. That's for sure. It's burning super slow, and also you can still pull it out of the house, and it will contain any sparks and shit. Get the wheel out. Get the, get the wire 
her away just so that we can, in case, in case sure. it gets hot. <laughs> sure. I mean, that's what it would be like. It would, it would be similar it to would that. Be similar to that. And it did, it did stay together pretty good. Oh yeah. Oh. A little flare that could. <laughs> Look, it's still going. Wow. Under the snow. Look at that thing. This flare does not want to quit. There's no oxygen. Lights <laughs> up my boot. Right? Look at that. The other one went out, though. Yeah, the other one went out. This flare. It's a miracle flare. <laughs> it's a miracle. There, there it, it is. I hear it. I you must have to get so inside. Yeah. It. Inside it. Because you know what? The bag's not burning. It burned a hole through it. Yeah, so it, it definitely burnt holes in the bag. Let me see if you can see here in this uh, light. Oh, yeah, you can see fire. Yeah, so you can sticks. definitely see the uh, the holes that burnt into it. A couple uh, of holes yeah. all around it from oh, us yeah. dragging it around. The flare sit in different spots. Yep. But even with all those holes, it's held together nicely, and that's with our horrible stitch job. <laughs> a single layer of thread, the zipper falling apart. And that's all and that it's really still, is. It's, it's still holding. It's not fireproof, but it's it's the get out bag. That, that's it. I it's mean, it's a get, the out, get it out of your house bag. You know? Yeah, it a, won't stop a fire from happening. It won't stop, but you know. So, so right where the flare hit. Kind of opened it up a little bit. Yeah, you can see all the different spots you, where I'll the players were. It, the bag might have burned through, but it didn't. Look, it doesn't tear. It doesn't tear. <laughs> tear resistant. So it's, that's that's actually really good that it doesn't tear, because that means you can drag it out of your house. You know what I mean? Like it, it'll only burn where it's burning, and the rest of it, like this shit. Ain't, no. no. Oh, that ain't going nowhere. No, Ow. That ain't going nowhere. You can see all the little spots. If I, if I look inside it, but I'll tell you one thing. See inside, it's a little more black. Oh yeah, yeah, where it made yeah. the direct contacts. It made direct contact, but you know what? It's it just the soot. The soot, it fucking held. It was a little worse than I thought and a little bit better than I thought. If that makes any sense. Yeah, it was definitely in between my expectations. I thought it would either just completely catch fire <laughs> and just be done or it will it would work fantastic so it's kind of in the middle yeah but i mean this is a really good safety announcement guys the people are buying these fire food blankets and that's kind of basically a flare is kind of what a battery would be only the gas would be poisonous you know you don't want to breathe that in if that shit, even if when you grab it even if it's five feet behind you as long as the wind's blowing the right way you're dragging it out better than nothing i'll tell you cut to beautiful bag Two hours later. <laughs> Do you like it, Ryan? EC drag bag. Let's make a really nice hammock. Luxury. <laughs> All right, so based on our materials testing, we came up with this new device. It's called the EUC drag bag. So the intention of this is to help you to get the machine out of your house. You saw that when there were holes and stuff burnt into the bag, it still held together really good. I couldn't rip it or tear it, and it holds the weight of a machine still, even when it has burnt holes in it and stuff. All right, so we put this wire all the way through it. You can see it runs all the way to the grommets down to the inside, all the way down to the bottom in there. I don't know if you saw it or not, but trust me, it does. So hopefully when you grab this handle, the whole bag kind of cinches up and grabs the wheel so you can drag it right out and you can pull it, you can drag it along. And if you're, you know, if you're on the third floor of a building, 
yeet that bitch out the window. <laughs> Demonstration. Come to Papa. All right, so we'll show you a little quick demonstration here with the V11. We're, we're using the V11 because it's one of the biggest wheels. So it, if this fits, any wheel is going to fit. And it's a heavy ass wheel. So it holds this, it'll hold just about any wheel. Well, now you can lean this up against the wall. You can do whatever you normally do, but now you're encased in this bag. So hopefully if you hear some fire popping, you can grab this little handle and you can get it the fuck out of your house drag it right down the stairs right up a ramp now that i'm doing this it's a little heavy to yeet out the window but i'm sure you'll figure it out this it helps you get it out better than holding a hot wheel true that's for sure definitely better than trying to hold the actual wheel itself and if you just had a fire blanket over your wheel you're not gonna be able to use that blanket to get it out of your house you're gonna be holding on to the blanket here while it's burning like you're much better off having this to stay away from the bag Give yourself some distance. Yeah, we can literally pick it up off the ground. Woo. There you go. So strong. So strong. All right, guys. So this is our EUC drag bag. I'm hoping this will improve some peace of mind while you're charging, while you're storing your device. If it's something that you're interested in, you can make one of these yourself. You buy one of these welding blankets online. You buy some of this cording. You know, if, if it's something that you don't want to have to put together yourself, I think we're going to try and assemble some. We'll see, you know, if people want them, we'll try and help you out. We'll try and assemble a couple, see if, uh, see if the community needs them. Yeah, let us know if you're interested in something like this. Just get in contact with me. You can PM me on the YouTube. You can join the Discord channel. You know, there's a couple different ways, the Facebook, whatever, whatever it is. Just get in contact with me if you're interested in one of these. We'll try and figure out, you know, how to make them how much they might cost, you know, or I can help walk you through making your own. Potential fires are definitely the most damaging thing that can happen to any unicycle or any PEV rider, really. I mean, you could put a one wheel in here, you could put a small scooter in here. Yeah, any kind of battery, anything that you can put in one of these bags, just give yourself a little bit of peace of mind so that if you're home, hopefully you have a way to get it out of your house. Ryan, light your shadow. Oh, Jesus. So All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching this episode. As always, be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, comment down below if you want to see any changes to this bag or if you think there's anything that's missing or if you want one. And until next time, ride safe and be safe.